pebbles, or river rocks as Yamashi to treasure signs. Only few, treasure hunters are actually aware about plain pebbles and river rocks, used by the Japanese Imperial Army, as markers on their hidden, Yamashita treasure. It's because, they are the type of markers, that aren't really obvious, and noticeable enough, especially, to the amateur, treasure hunters. So, how are you going to tell, if the pebbles or, river, rocks, that you, have uncovered, is a Yamashita, treasure marker? During the Second World War, the Japanese, Imperial Army, had tortured, their slaves, in many different ways. One among their methods, was to force them, to carry large rocks or, sacks of pebbles, that they took from the river. However, these pebbles and river, rocks, actually do have a purpose, for the Japanese, Imperial Army, in hiding, their, treasures. Assuming that, the Japanese Imperial Armies, are going to use pebbles and, river, rocks, as markers on their, hidden treasure, the hiding spot for their treasure, must be, on a dry land. Why the Japanese, Imperial Army, did hid their treasures on dry land, using pebbles or, river rocks as their markers. You have to know that, rocks and stones from the dry land, are completely different, from the rocks, and pebbles, found on the river. Thus, if you happen to encounter, a certain river, rock, or pebbles, on dry lands, then it means that, somebody, had placed them there. What are the differences, between the stones, and rocks, from the dry land, to the river rocks and pebbles? Stones and rocks, found on the dry land, are mostly rough, while pebbles and river rocks, have smooth surfaces. Another common difference is that, stones and rocks, found on the dry land, are a lot easier to break, than the pebbles and river rocks. Now, when you have uncovered pebbles or river, rocks, does it automatically mean, that they are markers? Unfortunately, the answer is no. You have to study, the pebbles and river, rocks, by observing them, if they have some proper, or random arrangement. Try to analyze, if they are intentionally arranged, by human hands. If they are, then you may consider it as markers. In most of my experiences as a treasure hunter, the river rocks that we encountered, are often properly piled together, like they were covering something behind. And in some cases, you may uncover giveaways, that are stuck in between these rocks. Moreover, it is best if there are also, other signs and markers that you encountered, aside from the river rocks and pebbles.
Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this topic, then feel free to ask them, on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. You, are also free to share to your friends, or, to someone, who may find it helpful. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.